almost fell. <laughs> excited to be telling you 15 things that you probably did not know about me so you just gotta keep watching here we go I eloped in Las Vegas yes I said it I got married at the Viva Las Vegas wedding chapel and Elvis Presley or an impersonator married me and it was so much fun and it was so different and it was so cool and I wouldn't have had it any other way y'all I'm slightly cross-eyed I didn't realize that until I started watching my vlogs back can you see it? I don't know, it's like this eye is a little weird. Oh well, I'm so cute. I sued my last vet for indirectly killing my dog and I won. My dog had gotten a hold of some rubber hair ties and he ate a bunch of them and they created this huge knot in his stomach and the doctor didn't even bother to give him an x-ray, gave him this like botched up like checkup and just gave them Nutri-Cal. And nutri -Cal is for dogs that they're sick, they're not eating, they're throwing up, they're not getting the nutrients. So you put a little bit of the nutri -Cal on their nose and they just lick it off and that's how they get their nutrients. So I'm like, this is not helping my dog. My dog was throwing a bile. My dog was just a mess. And it wasn't until I took him to a third vet that they realized what was wrong. They did surgery, but at that point, um, it was just too late and my dog died. So my mom encouraged me that's my kids, sorry. My mom encouraged me to sue and she actually like went through with the paperwork. She created the case, they had a docket number and lo and behold y'all, we won. We won, so justice for Opie. Y'all, I have tattoos, okay? Aside from these two eyebrows that I got tattooed over the summer, I have three other tattoos that unless you are my husband or my doctor, you probably will never see them. I love Elvis Presley. I really do. I have loved him for years and I will continue to love him. I love his music. I just love Elvis Presley. I require the use of an EpiPen. I never, ever, ever did, but I guess now in adulthood, I am allergic to certain things and, and I need an EpiPen. Do I have it? No, not yet, but I need one. So, weird. I have always been attracted to white boys. I remember being in the fourth grade and seeing them little white boys and being like, oh my God, they so cute. Always been attracted to white boys. <laughs> I have never been on a cruise and I live by so many cruise ports. I live by the Liberty Cruise Port in Bayonne and I live by all of these cruise ports in Manhattan and I've never been on a cruise. What's wrong with me? Je parle un peu de français. Oui. I speak a little bit of French. I took French for four years in high school and I took it in college and it was so much fun, but I don't practice it, so I'm kind of starting to lose it. I spent a summer in France. Yes, I did. I did my final fifth year of French studies out in the University of Bourgogne in Dijon. I hope I said that right. If I didn't, please correct me. But I, I spent the summer in Dijon, France, and I had a blast. If you've yeah. never studied abroad, you need to do it. I had a myomectomy in 2008. Yes, they cut my gut open and took out some fibroids from my uterus. I literally had like balls sticking out of my belly that I could like move. They looked like apples, that's how big they were. And they were removed in 2008. I hate cottage cheese. I love laser hair removal. I have been doing laser hair removal, gosh, since 2002, 16 years. And you're probably like, but isn't that supposed to be permanent? Some areas of your body are permanent and some areas the hair is just gonna keep coming back. So I have had a variety of areas on my body treated by laser hair removal. I'm not gonna tell you because they're a little private and y'all don't need to know everything about me, but I absolutely love it. Is it a little painful? Yes. Um, can it be costly? Yes, I haven't done it in the past two or three years, but I will be going back because when you have babies and you get pregnant, you start getting hair in areas of your body that you're like, Ugh, what's happening? So I probably will be calling my laser hair place very, very soon and making an appointment. But if you want more information on that, comment below and then I'll send you a private inbox. 
Don't get mad at me, y'all. But this is one, this one's like for real. I totally get irked out, upset, frustrated, ah, slightly angered when I see people releasing balloons. You ever seen that when they have an event and they release, you know, those helium filled balloons into the air and it's a beautiful photo op and either it's for a memorial or, for, or a wedding or a celebration of some sort and it looks nice for the moment. It really does. But I always think 24 hours, 48 hours, 36 hours later, what's going to happen when those balloons begin to deflate? What's going to happen when they start falling out of the air and they start getting you know, tangled up in our forests. They start, you know, littering our water systems. I think about those things. I think about animals. Like I, like I said before, my dog got very, very sick and was in a whole lot of pain because he ate rubber hair ties that got knotted up in his stomach, fused to the lining of his stomach, created a hole in his stomach to the point that whenever you know he had to use the bathroom his excrement was leaking into his stomach and he was throwing up bile he was in so much pain and i think about animals out in the wild i think about how those balloons affect those animals like what's gonna happen they're gonna see it they're gonna chew on it they're gonna choke they're gonna get sick they're gonna be in pain like, I think about those things, and I get really upset. So if I ruffle some feathers with this comment, if you didn't know about this, if you didn't know this about me, now you know. It irks me. So don't show me balloon pictures. Don't show me videos. As much as it's probably nice in the moment, I think about 48 hours, 36 hours later, I think about my ecosystem. And last but not least, this one's an odd one. You ready for it? <laughs> my thumbs I cannot have my thumbs out like this like right now they're bothering me I hate it feels so uncomfortable I have to tuck them under I hold my thumbs if ever you see me that I'm just sitting by myself or I'm not holding something my hands are in this position because I just oh it just bothers me <laughs> I know, random and weird, but I hope that you enjoyed these 15 facts about me that you might have known or you might not have known and now you know, so it is what it is. So guys, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. I'm just gonna hold it for a minute. Give them a thumbs up. I need you to share this video with anyone you think that would find it funny. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I'm looking forward to seeing you back next time. And please excuse my children in the background. They're a little wild, but it is what it is. Love you guys.